Hi, my name is Josiah with Ubertronics. Today we're going to be doing some high-speed photography using a StrikeFinder Elite camera trigger, which is just one of four products that we offer. We're going to use a sound trigger capability of this device to pop some water balloons. And we're going to be using one of these. Let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to attach the uh, cable to the uh, flash using a PC sync cable. It's a little end that looks like that. We're going to plug that in. We're going to take the other end. We're going to plug it into one of our six foot extension cables. And then the other end of that, we'll plug it into the Strike Finder Elite. All of our cameras, I mean, all of our triggers have the flash cam port. This can be plugged into a camera or it can be plugged into the flash like this. And once we have that hooked up, We'll take the sound sensor, like here, we'll plug that in, and we're ready to go. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to set our flash to manual mode, and then the power we're going to set to 128 power, that way the flash stays only lit for just a, just a barely of a second, I think it's one ten thousandth of a second. That allows us to capture the water balloon as it's breaking and catch, capture a very crisp photograph. If I had it up here, the flash stays on too long and will cause a totally different effect. It'll cause the water to blur a little bit, but I want a tight, crisp shot, so I'll set it to 128 power. So we're going to be shooting on long exposure. We're going to set the camera on manual mode. Most DSLRs have the manual modes designated by the M. And then we're going to set our shutter to about 10 seconds. We're going to be using the flash to actually expose the image onto the film. I like to shoot at about 10 seconds, and for water balloons, I'll shoot at about uh, 7.1 or so, um, depending on what kind of image I'm looking for. This will give us a nice, clear, crisp shot, and, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, now that we've got everything set up, we've got our flash where we want it, we've got the camera where we want it, um, the next thing to do is take a control shot. And what I usually do on that is take a piece of paper and I get it wet. The reason for getting it wet is so that when I see the BB or the bullet hit it, I know that it's beyond the piece of paper or before the piece of paper, especially when I take my control shot. So that's extremely important to know. The other thing that's important to know is, is that uh, the speed of sound travels at about 1,000 feet per second or about one foot per millisecond. That's really important to know uh, because that depends where we're going to put our sound sensor for the uh, Strike Finder Elite. So let's go ahead and take a couple of control shots. So now we're just going to do our control shot. I'm going to turn out the lights, hit the camera, and fire. And we'll give it a second. We should have the image we want. So now that we have saw the little pellet and the spray beyond that, we know now we got our proper distance. We're about two feet away from the sensor, from the sound trigger. And we can put the end of the barrel about, you know, at this point. We can get really creative. If we want the pellet to be a little bit beyond and we want to capture the pellet over on this side or maybe we want to get it just as it's hitting the balloon, we can really experiment with that by our uh, approximate distance. So right now we're shooting about a foot and a half away to get that little bit of spray. So uh, let's get creative. Let's see what kind of shots we get. I'm going to turn out the lights, flip on the camera, and fire. Well, you see some of the great photographs you can do with the Strike Finder Elite. The photos you saw today can also be done with the Strike Finder Pro 2, which has sound triggering capabilities as well. The Elite, uh, in addition to sound trigger, also has motion, motion sensing capabilities. So get creative with your photographs, submit them to us. We'd love to check them out. Until then, we'll see you online at ubertronics.com. Have a great day.